hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be looking at how we can factorize a quadratic expression using tiles now let me remind you that factorization is the process of writing a term or an expression as a product of factors right so like 35 is 7 times 5 that is me factorizing it now when we factorize it it would seem that it produces the dimension of a rectangle so here we have some tiles which is x squared, which is x by x. We have our x tile, which is 1 by x, and we have our unit tile. Now, my job is to put these tiles together so that it forms the quadratic expression in a rectangular shape. All right? We're going to start by looking at the expression x squared plus 4x plus 3. We're going to start with the x squared. All right? So I'm going to have my large unit, which is x squared. Let's go right ahead. So that is my x squared unit. We now have 4x. So we need to leave four of those tiles. We can lay the tiles horizontally or we can lay them vertically. So let me just start by putting in a vertical tile. So here we go. Now we have to ever remember that whenever we are finished laying the tile, we're going to need three small units to complete the rectangle so we have to be very careful how we lay these tiles so i lay one vertical there probably we could lay one horizontal now all the x's should be the same size of course and the tiles should be equally spaced and of course this is freehand so it's not as perfect as we want it to be so we need a next a next x so let me see if i could put a next x vertically here so here we go. Now, where do I put the final X tile? Now, I could put it horizontally. But of course, if I put it horizontally, let us put it horizontally to show you what would happen. If I put it horizontally, then of course, what I have here is space for one, two, three, four units, which is not what we want. Bear in mind that we are trying to add three units. So we can't put a tile there which means that I'm going to have to put it vertically. So let me remove this from here. So we put the final X tile vertically. There we go, All right? Try to get it as accurate as possible. Now for our units. So we have plus three, which is three small units. So we're going to fit them in here. So there we go. That's one. That's two. And that is 3. We can now put in the dimension of this box. So along the horizontal, we're looking at length by width. Here's x, here's 1, here's 1, here's 1. Along the vertical, this is x, and this is one unit right there. So when I factorize this expression, what I'm going to end up with is x plus 3 units multiplied by x plus 1. And that is how we factorize x squared plus 4x plus 3 using tiles. Here is a second example. This time we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And as usual, we start with a large unit. So we need 2x squared. We need two large units. So let's go right ahead. So there's my first unit. Remember, it's a square. Now, I can either choose to put the second unit to the right or below this. Not a problem. Let me go ahead and put it below. All right, bear in mind it's 2x squared, so these units should be the same size. Now, we have five x's. Bear in mind that we can lay these tiles vertically or horizontally. All right, so probably we could start by going vertically. Let's see. Here we go. So that's one X. Let me leave the next tile. That is two X. So we have three more X's. Now, of course, we have to put this in a structured way so that whenever we are finished laying these X tiles, then of course a plus three can go in. So let me try one horizontally here. Now, remember we have three units to go in. 
So we have to be strategic in how we lay these tiles. And please try to make the tiles as even in space as possible. So probably I could put an X tile horizontally here to get my fourth X. So let's go. So we have four X's there. All right. And we have one more X tile to lay. Now, where do I put this? I know I definitely can't put it vertically because I can't put unmatching units beside each other. So my likely option here is to go with the next horizontal tile. So there we go. And we have accounted for all our X tiles. Now to our units. Now do we have the space for those three units? It would appear so. So let me put in my small units. So that's my first unit. That's my second unit. This is my third unit. All right. Now try to make them as the same size because they're all units one by one. Now my rectangle looks pretty weird, but the critical thing here is that it's a rectangle. All right. This tile could probably have been more even a space. Now let us look at my dimension. At the top here, we have X and one unit there. Now on the left here, we have X, we have X, we have one, two, three. So my dimension here would be, if we're starting with the top, the length there would be x plus 1. And if I look at the side, we have two x's. So that's 2x, and we have 1, 2, 3 units. So that's 2x plus 3. So when I factorize 2x squared plus 5x plus 3, I get x plus 1 into 2x plus 3.